I believe I told you all that I used to be very, very bad when I was in sin. At this one point of time, I taught this guy how to be a womanizer. And I pretty much, I did not tell him everything, but I told him many, many things. So I pretty much, I told him some good things as well, but I mixed up the good with the bad. Because many of the things that I taught him was not bad per se, but a person could use those good things for evil at the same time. So I taught this guy how to womanize. And for some reason, I lost contact with this person for about two years or so. And around that time period, I gave my life to God. And this person was coming to my mind over and over and over and over again. My Lord. And I was praying to God, God, let me meet this person again, or let me be able to speak to this person again so I can tell this person to not do everything that I have taught him to do, at least most of it. So shortly after that, this guy contacted me out of nowhere. <laughs> so I was talking to this guy, telling him, look, I know what I have taught you and don't do it anymore. Don't womanize anymore because it is wrong. You are going to reap what you sow. And he was hearing me, but he was like me when I was in sin, like not really caring, just wanting to do whatever I wanted to do. So he was that way back then. And I continued to try to push him toward serving God and stop womanizing. And I guess he got tired of me. <laughs> so he stopped contacting me. So if you choose to not talk to me and leave, okay, fine. But If you are going to reject what I am saying to you, or if you are trying to get close to me and then reject what I am trying to teach you, then leave, okay, then stay gone. Some people believe that I am this very strong person. Some people believe that I don't get hurt just like everyone else. I am a human. <laughs> I hurt just like everyone else. I may not show it, but I get hurt just like everyone else. What I have a problem with, you leave, and then you want to come back as if nothing ever happened. As if you are only caring about your own feelings. That is what I have a problem with. You leaving, then coming back as if, hey, Kevin, what's up? 
But you left. You got irritated by me, I guess. And then you left. But when things turn out the way that I said that it is going to turn out, now you want to come back. As a Christian, and I know that something similar may happen to you all as well. You may try to put your all into a person or try to get close to a person, and then they leave, and that may hurt you. And then that person may try to come back as if, hey, <laughs> everything is okay. <laughs> everything is all right. How selfish is that? But as men and women of God, We have to let people come back and try to teach them about God even still. Even if it is difficult to reconnect with a person again, somehow we have to put our feelings on the back burner and do what we have to do which is hard, let me tell you. <laughs> it is very hard. Especially if someone talks crazy to you, then leave, and then they come back as if everything is okay. Some people are really, really selfish. The main person they really care about is themselves. It is like, my Lord, I am not going to say that. We have to be willing to be there for people, even if they reject us countless times. Because the way that I have always been, if you want to leave, leave. But don't play this game where you leave and come back and leave then come back. Don't do that. I have feelings. When a person does that, when they leave and come back and leave and come back, what comes to my mind, you are playing games. If you are going to leave, leave. But as I stated before, as a man or woman of God, we have to be accepting of people. If they come back asking for your help, we have to be willing to help even if we get stabbed in the back once again. It is difficult. I understand that. It really is. How do you think I feel? I have to deal with some people with these crazy attitudes and they leave, they come back saying sorry and all this again, and then they do the same thing again over and over and over again. How do you think I feel about it? But as a man of God, I have to be accepting of them and willing to teach them even when they do foolish things like that, which is very difficult to want to even want to say anything else to them. No matter how many times a person rejects you, you have to be willing to accept them back each time if they are willing to hear about God from you. I know it is difficult, yes. 
as I stated before, if you want to leave, leave. But some people have this psychological issue where, my Lord, I have no idea. But we have to be long suffering. We have to be patient, unbelievably patient. We have to stretch our patience way out, my Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. And I know that other people are going through this as well. You have to deal with these flaky, wishy-washy, mood-changing type of people. We have to do it as men and women of God. We have to be forgiving and accepting when people are willing to come back and apologize, even when you know that the same thing is going to happen again, my Lord. Even when you can see it like, hey, this is going to happen once more. We have to be long suffering. We have to be patient. We have to be forever forgiving. No matter how a person is, we have to always be there for them somehow, some way. We have to have agape love for people, unconditional love, which is hard many of the time. So always be there for people, even when they don't deserve it, my Lord, my Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Be long suffering. This is the only way. God bless you.